Hello and welcome to my application Inspirator. It's designed to provide a space for songwriters to put all their inspiration and ideas in one place. I'm going to take you through each section, as you can see it's split into four main sections, using um, one of the songs I've written recently. So let's start off with song details. So in here you can type in the details of your song. Um, so let's see. Okay, and I'm going to save that text. Now it's important when you save these files and um, save it as .txt, otherwise it won't recognise it as a text file. So I'll just save it in demo. There we go. Another place where you can also um, enter information through the keyboard is the lyrics section. So let's type in some lyrics. And I'll just save those. Now you can clear text as well. So press clear text. And gets rid of the lyrics. You can also do that with the song details section if you want to enter your data a bit more flexibly because that takes out the title, composer, inspiration bit and so on. So you can do that if you want to but I quite like it in that setup so I'm going to leave it that way. And I also want my lyrics back so if I just load that up. There we go. Now when I write songs, I tend to write them in weird open tunings, so quite often I'm playing chords but I don't know the names to them. In those cases it's really useful to be able to visually see what I'm doing, so let's have a fiddle with the video section. As you can see in the video input you've got three different options, movie file, camera and noise. At the moment it's on noise, so if we turn that on, you can see it's this weird abstract thing. And if you turn that off, it stops moving. There's also a colour option, so you can change the colours. And you can change the dimensions as well of the video, but I'm going to leave those alone for the time being. The option that I'm going to use is um, camera. And as you can see, it's automatically playing from the built-in thing. So, hello! Um, so you can turn the camera on and off. I'm going to keep it on for the time being. And you can also fiddle with some other settings. So there's recording settings. Um, you can see frames per second, and you can choose from those what sort of settings you want to look at, so you can look at dimensions and milliseconds and so on, but I'm going to keep it on frames per setting. You can also fiddle with how it's compressed, and um, so at the moment it's on codec, you can also choose from these other options, how to fiddle with those. Um, at the moment it's compressed that way, but you can do it as a JPEG or as another way. And you can also fiddle with the appearance of the video, so there's contrast. There's brightness, and there's saturation. But at the moment, I'm just going to keep it normal, because I want to be able to see what I'm doing with my guitar. So, let's try recording something. Um, if you want to do that, first of all, you have to turn the video audio on. And then, as you can see, it's now recording my audio. Well, it's not recording yet, but you can see the audio input. So if you press Start Recording, and then it comes up with this option. So let's call it chords and press save. And you can see it's got the right file extension on there, so you don't have to go into that in this time. So now it's recording. So let's record something. Now to stop recording, you've just pressed the stop recording button and you turn the video audio off. As you can see, now the volume's no longer changing. So you can then load this up in the video file playback section. So if you press open video file and select that. So now it's recording, so let's record something. I'm just going to turn the volume to top volume off on that so I can still myself think. But yeah, you can see me doing my thing and you can fiddle with the speed of that. So I get faster and faster and faster. And I can go in slow motion. And I can go backwards. So those are some of the things you can do. 
As you can see at the moment, it's on auto start, so the video loads starts playing automatically as soon as it's loaded in. So I'm just going to turn that off for now. Um, and we've got this frames per second option again, like we have over here. And um, you can also choose to loop the video, so it can go round and round, or it can go forwards and then backwards, or you can just have it playing through the ones. You can also load a um, video file into this section, but this way you don't get the audio, so it's better to load it into that section. And the way you load it into this bit is you can select from browse, or you can just drop the file in. I prefer to drop the file in because it's just easier. So there I am again. And there I am doing my thing at the speed of seven. So that's the video file recording section. Let's look at the audio section now, the most important part. So the way if you want to record audio is you have to make sure you do it in a specific order, otherwise you'll get a rather weird recording. So first of all, you want to turn the audio on. You can see you've got the input now. You turn the mic on. And then if you click save audio as, and you can see it's saved as a right file format, so you don't need to worry about that. So now it's going to start recording as soon as you press start recording. So don't forget to press start recording. Don't want to talk about it. Don't want to think about it. And then you can press stop recording to stop recording. I'm just going to turn the mic off. You can then load the sound file into the sound file playback section. So if you click load folder, that automatically loads the folder you've been using. And um, you can choose um, a sound file from it, so it only plays back sound files. And as you can see, the waveform is loaded in there. You can also fiddle with the speed. You can also fiddle with the looping again on this as well. So you can have it just playing through the ones or playing through the loop so it keeps going around. You can alter the playback volume, so if you just drag this, that changes that. You can also alter the mic volume in the same way. So the next section of this is the MIDI input section. You control this by turning the MIDI on. But first of all, let's see what MIDI devices we have available to us. So if you click load MIDI devices, and then if you look at what MIDI devices are in the drop down menu. So in front of me, I'll just turn the video thing back on so you can see it. This keyboard is MIDI controller thing, so let's try using that and seeing what happens. So I'll turn the MIDI volume on. This MIDI keyboard option is um, only monophonic at the moment, that's something I want to improve in future versions of this application. Um, and also I want to create a overarching volume thing that can control it because if at the moment if you look at this I press a note You can alter the volume, but only on the individual notes. So that's something I want to work on So that's how that works. This brings us to the final part of this application audio setup So if you double click on this The audio status window pops up and that shows you what input device you're using output device you're using and so on. Now I've got my mic here, my lovely USB mic, um, so I can set that up to be the input device. So I can change that and built an output device. And then that way when I record from the mic I'm recording from this rather than whatever built-in option it has. And there you have it. Happy songwriting! <laughs>